What's up, Ahitians? What's up, Einstein? For today's video, we will perform our performances in mathematics using solving math problems involving quadratic equation through a game challenge. That's right! Our game challenge is called Shoot the Coins. But before we start, let us first introduce the mechanics of the game. First, we have two sets of team. The red team and the blue team. Each team needs to shoot three coins to the cup that is three meters away from them. The fastest team to shoot three coins into the cup wins the game. <laughs> now that we know the mechanics of the game, let's now introduce the players of each team. For the red team, we have Andrew Francisco, Faith Moralia, and Micaela Rojero. And for the blue team, we have Miel Camanoy, Vera Blanca Flor, and Angeline Gampan. Now that we have introduced everything, let's now start our game. Presented by... Mati! Let the challenge begin! Now, let's move on to the blue team. Now, let's see. How long will the two teams shoot three coins into the cup if they team up? We are now finished with our game and we have witnessed each team to shoot 3 coins into the cup and how they did it together. So now that our game challenge is done, let's move on to solving problems involving quadratic equation. First, let's have our work problem. The red team can shoot 3 coins into the cup for 15 seconds, more than the blue team. While if the two teams teamed up, they can shoot the coins for only 4 seconds. How many seconds can each team shoot 3 coins into the cup? Alright! After knowing our work problem, do you have now an idea of the answer? Well, let's see if you're correct. Let's have our solution. Our left is 1 over x equals blue team's time. Then, 1 over x plus 15 equals red team's time. Let's now go to our equation. 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 15 equals 1 fourth. Then, we will use the butterfly method. 1 times x plus 15 equals x plus 15, then 1 times x will still be x, so we'll have x plus 15 plus x as the numerator. After that, multiply the denominators and we'll have x squared plus 15x and just copy the equal 1 over 4. It. Next is let's simplify. It will now be 2x plus 15 over x squared plus 15 equals 1 over 4. After this, multiply the two sides. The answer will be 8x plus 60 equals x squared plus 15x. Then transpose and it will be 0 equals x squared plus 15x minus 8x minus 60 equals 0. Now, it will be x squared plus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0. Let's now solve for its roots. Did you already get the two numbers? That's right. It's negative 5 and positive 12. Let's now have our equation. x minus 5 times x plus 12 is equal to 0. And the x minus 5 is equal to 0 if the negative 5 will move on the right side and it will be x equals 0 plus 5. And the final answer in here is x equal to positive 5. And then the x plus 12 is equal to 0 and move the positive 12 into the right side and it will be x is equal to 0 minus 12. And the final answer here is that x equal to negative 12. Now that we have the roots, let's just get the one that is positive because we can define the time if it's on negative. The positive one is 5 so x equals to 5 is the time of the blue team. 
Then, x plus 15 or 5 plus 15 equals 20 is the time of the red team. So the answers are, the red team takes 20 seconds to shoot 3 coins into the cup, while the blue team only takes 5 seconds. Now I will announce the winner of the Shoot the Goin Game Challenge. And the winner goes to Blue Team with a time of 5 seconds. Yay! We're now done for today. I hope you learned something new. And always remember, the quadratic equation is important because it applies to our everyday lives from watching, reading, and even eating. That's all. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys liked our video presentation.